In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fully set up a VPN on your Windows or Mac computer. A VPN, also known as a virtual private network, is designed to encrypt, change and mask your online location to keep you secure and anonymous online. It's also helpful for unblocking geo-restricted content, such as streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, etc. So how do we install a VPN to our computer? Well, there are multiple VPN services out there, such as Private Internet Access VPN, IP Vanish and NordVPN, and each of them have their own benefits to offer. In this example, we are going to be focusing on Private Internet Access VPN, however, I will leave a link in the description of this video where you can get access to each of these VPNs. So to get Private Internet Access VPN, the first thing you need to do is to click on the link in the description below and that will take you to the website. From here, you want to click on Get PIA VPN. From here, you want to choose a plan that works best for you. Now it's important to bear in mind that you do get a 30 day money back guarantee if you choose the 3 year or 1 year plan. So in this case we are going to choose the 3 year plan. You then want to enter in your payment details and you can also pay by cryptocurrency if you'd prefer. Once your payment has gone through, you then get access to your account details which you can use to sign into your account when you use the application. So let's download that now. To download the application you want to go back to the home page and then you want to hover over download VPN just at the very top and then you want to select which platform you are on. So in this case, we are going to choose Windows VPN. On the download page, you want to select download PIA VPN for Windows, and then you want to select the 64-bit version. This is going to download the installer to your computer. So in this case, we are going to save it to our desktop. Once the installer has been downloaded, you just want to go ahead and install the VPN to your computer. So once you've got Private Internet Access installed, it will appear in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, and it will look like this. Well, it's very simple to use. If you click on the three dot menu in the top right, here you're going to have a few options, including the settings, where you can access general settings such as launch on startup, your desktop notifications, and your light mode or dark mode theme if you prefer. You'll also have access to the different protocols and other such network options and privacy options if you wish to go through all of these. To actually use the VPN, all we need to do is click on the VPN server option in the middle of the application, and then you want to select a VPN server from any of these countries. So in this case, I'm going to use the United States as an example. And here we just want to select a server with the lowest latency. So in this case, it's going to be US Baltimore. Once we've selected the server, you want to click the power button. And after a few seconds, you'll be successfully connected to the server in the country that you selected. In this case, the United States. So just to demonstrate that it's working, if we minimize out to the VPN and we go to whatsmylocation.org, here it's currently showing my location because this is showing me my location before I activated the VPN. However, if I refresh the page, it's going to show me that I'm now currently in the United States because I connected to a United States server in Baltimore. So we can either start using the internet just as we normally would, or we can go ahead and start unblocking streaming services such as Netflix so we can access geo-restricted content we wouldn't have access to otherwise. And that is how you set up a VPN on your computer. So remember to click on the link in the description to get private internet access VPN. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I will reply to you as soon as I can.